Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Chris Petrie and we're here. We're going to do a uh, really gorgeous painting of a nice uh, fishing boat. Um, uh, this is just a... Uh, I was at a um, Charles Reed workshop just a couple weeks ago on vacation. And we uh, went to Rockland, Maine for the uh, workshop. It was for a week, uh, a week long workshop. And I got there at the location a couple days early. Uh, and went out and did some painting. There's some gorgeous, beautiful scenery there along the coast of Maine. Uh, tons of boats and fishing boats, sailboats, um, all kinds of great uh, rocky shorelines and water and shipyards. Just incredible, beautiful um, Main Street. If you like to paint uh, st like street scenes, there were some great, gorgeous uh, brick buildings and things and all kinds of beautiful uh, architecture. So I'll do some, I have more um, paintings that I did paint um, on the trip. Uh, so, but this is just one of them I did. I thought this was one of my better ones I, I did on the, um, on the uh, week long trip. And so we're gonna tackle this one here and we're gonna have fun doing this. It's really kind of a simple scene. Um, and what we'll do in this part one here, we'll actually uh, focus on the contour drawing first, the pencil drawing, then in part two, We'll, uh, we'll move into the painting portion of, the, of this. And we're gonna try to capture the same, the same mood and um, uh, idea that, we, that I was in when I did this. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna try to recapture what I was thinking when I was there and I'll kind of explain how it was to paint it and draw it and paint it. And then we'll, we'll try to do the same thing here. We'll just try to recreate that same process. So, um, the main thing, this is the actual uh, finished uh, painting in, the, in this, our sketchbook here. And uh, I already went ahead and did the sketch on good watercolor paper. So this is, we'll use this when we uh, do our painting. But first let's kind of go over, I'll use a, just a regular piece of uh, printer paper and we'll tape this down just with a piece of tape here. and. So it's kind of secured to our working uh, board here. And we'll try to kind of, again, recapture what we were doing there in the field. So I recall this location was in a park in um, Rockport, Maine, which was right near Rockland where the workshop was, the Charles Reed, uh, Reed workshop. And so we, we, um, I sat at a bench, it was like a uh, picnic bench, right along the, the water where there was boats all set up and it was like a little inlet, like a harbor area where all the fishing boats come in and go in and out for the day for, uh, for fishing and, and there was lots of sailboats, you know, anchored there and fishing boats anchored and rowboats and all kinds of interesting stuff and uh, a couple large buildings um, and so forth. and. Maybe we'll do some more scenes from that same uh, area uh, in the next uh, maybe month or so. We'll work it into the uh, our YouTube um, videos. So anyway, getting into the scene again. So here there was also other boats in the scene. There was a shoreline over here with grass and um, some shrubbery and some trees and bushes. And again, there was more boats, but I decided to simplify the scene. So that's a thing you'll probably, hear, you know, you know, I mentioned this a lot, like trying to simplify things sometimes or, you know, reduce certain things in your, your paintings. If you're looking at a photograph or if you're out painting, uh, you know, if you see too much information, you can always, you know, you're the artist, right? You can delete stuff out of your um, painting that you want to make it look more pleasing um, uh, more of a pleasing composition f as you would think it is, you know, according to what your style is. Maybe you would want to add in all the boats and uh, more information in your sketch book, or if you were doing a finished painting, let's say, or you can reduce things and leave out some of the information, but just capture a few key ideas. So that's what I did here. I, I have just the main fishing boat that was anchored and uh, another fishing boat across the way that was kind of parked along the shoreline over here in the distance somewhat. And then again, some mountains and hills and um, some water. And that's pretty much uh, a simple kind of reduction of what I was seeing there. 
So when we go to contour draw this, and again we always say let's let's practice our our contour drawing 60% of the time, and we'll do our painting 40% of the time. So if we can keep that ratio of drawing more uh, than our painting, we're always going to be sort of um, you know keeping up with our uh, drawing skills because drawing skills are you know key uh, with watercolor painting. We need to be able to render things you know accurately. So. Never get discouraged, just keep drawing, draw everything you can see around you, whatever you can, just practice your contour drawing as much as possible, and um, you'll have uh, uh, a much more fun time painting and drawing. So uh, that's the ratio, 60-40. Uh, drawing, and 40% painting. So here, um, I could trace this underneath. Tracing is, uh, some people like to trace once in a while. It's okay to trace if you have a really challenging subject matter. You have to do it. But uh, most times I say always, you know, stick to just drawing. It looks much better. Tracing sometimes looks a little too accurate. So here, contour drawing is really simple. We, we start at one point. And we're just trying to capture the shapes of what we're what we're seeing. So, I'm not obviously I, when I look at this scene, I know it's a boat. But what I'm going to try to do is look at the shapes of the boat more than thinking about that it's a boat. Does that make sense? So right now I'm looking at it going, all right, here's the front of the boat, the bow of the boat. What's that shape look like? Well, it kind of curves down and then it stops there at the water. And then it goes across. Then I notice that the boat, the back of the boat starts here, so I can go up. Then I see that there's an angle on the boat going back this way. So I can always take my pencil and hold it up in the air. And if I hold my pencil out in front of me and I angle it to the same angle as what I'm seeing, at, you know, when I'm looking at the boat, then I can just transfer that angle down to the paper like that. So actually I'm looking out now at the angle like this. And I'm going to transfer that angle down like that. And it's about like that. So as I contour draw I go around and I'm just looking at the shapes. I see a barrel. And there's another uh, looks like a uh, a wood uh, box on top of the, or a crate. And then I'm coming down this way and I notice there's some of the boat, the inside of the boat in here. So I'm going to make sure I capture that. Then I'm noticing that there's the cabin of the boat where the windows are. So I'm going to go here and I see a, the exhaust for the engine, and then below I see there's um, the edge of the back of the cabin here, and there, and then there's a canopy that is on the back of the boat over the cabin door area. So here I'm just going around and carefully looking at the shapes. And then I notice the window shapes. And that's pretty much our boat. And there is something on top here. It looks like a uh, GPS. And then another um, might be air conditioning on top. There is an antenna. Put the antenna on. Okay, so we're pretty much, that's our contour drawing of our main boat, our main fishing boat. And then I'll maybe just make some lines for the water and maybe some directional lines to kind of know maybe how I'm going to maybe put the, uh, the washes in for the water. And I'm going to try to recreate the same feel. If 
for the um, for what we, what I did on the uh, main painting when I when I did this uh, sketch in the field. And then here we're going to go across and we're going to draw the other distant boat here across the shoreline. And again, I'm careful. I'm just drawing what I see, looking at the shapes. And that's pretty much it. And then there's an antenna on the back and maybe another, uh, there's some antennas on the top of the boat. And there's windows on the cabin. And if there's an issue where you think a line doesn't look correct, you know, a little bit of an eraser. I think I put that door in too close. And that looks pretty good. And then we have the shoreline here, so I'm going to put the shoreline in. And then here, again with contour drawing, Occasionally you're going to want to get more, um, just more suggestive and loose and carefree and just indicate maybe some things, almost like they're notes for yourself, so that when you go in and paint you have a little bit of notes on your, your watercolor paper. So I might say, alright, there's like the rocky uh, shoreline and a little bit of a hill along the um, side of the uh, harbor here. So I can make some rock indications, just so I know where the rocks and the sand are going to be. And then I can say, all right, here's more of the middle of the some of the hills up here. And then there's some grass up here, too. Some uh, grass up here. And then there's... And again, what's nice is we're actually... We're working from a, a sketch that we did. So we have that to refer back to. So as I'm drawing this... I'm just looking at this the whole time across from me and just you know kind of planning out where things are going to be so in essence I'm just looking at this and you know and then when I start painting I know these are going to be the trees and some of the bushes and we have some of the hill hill areas and I'm going to leave some white paper too, like this here. I'm going to leave white paper in my, my sketch, my painting. And uh, this should be... Uh, this should be fine. So that's our contour drawing. And again, all we did is we set this up across from us. And we carefully followed the shapes that we were seeing. And if you, when you're contour drawing, if, if you get kind of um, hesitant about where's the next uh, like curve or line, you can always just stop and kind of keep your pencil on the paper and then look across at the photograph and kind of look at it closely or the painting or whatever you're looking at or if it's something in nature or if you're outside or something and you're looking at something and you're drawing or painting, you can stop, keep your pencil on the paper and take a few seconds and look at something and say oh yeah that's more of an angle straight angle up and then we can go up with that and then if so in essence you're kind of when when you're contour drawing you're you're looking back and forth at your paper as you go and then your subject matter and if you kind of get uh, I would say this does this make sense as you do it more Contour drawing, you will, you will, it will definitely become a lot easier. But in the beginning, it's a little hard. It's kind of painstaking, and it's kind of, a, you know, kind of can drain your energy because it's, it's challenging sometimes to sit there and stop and recheck and look and keep going back and forth. But it's just like, um, it's pretty much like riding or um, riding a bicycle, or a, it just gets easier. The more you practice it, the easier it becomes. And so, you know. Eventually, you'll be going at a faster pace, but in the beginning, it goes a little slower. And, um, you know, so that's pretty much we're just going, we're looking what, looking at what we're paint, uh, drawing, we're looking across from us. If we need to check an angle, that's fine. We can stop 
and then think, okay, this is a slight angle up this way. And then we can stop there and go, okay, this line here is more straight or level. So then we can go across and, and that's how we do it. We just go a little bit as, as we progress through the drawing and uh, we will get that finished look. And uh, it's just all about practice. So once in a while you're going to have things turn out that you don't think are the greatest. No big deal. The more you practice, the better you're going to get. And you'll just, you'll always see prog progress as you go. Okay, so this is good. This is really the, what we wanted to capture. Basically, the main focal point is our red fishing boat. And then our, we have another focal point over here. This is a, a smaller fishing boat um, over here by the shoreline. We have some other minor focal points, some bushes and trees and rocks here. And then we have the water, of course, which is going to look good. And there's some more rocks over here I had put along the shoreline a little bit. So that can be another thing we would just indicate. So we know, just as we're painting, we know we're going to come over and do, we're going to do some rocks over here and some shoreline too, over this way. Okay, so we got, we have our contour drawing complete, and now it's going to be exciting. It's going to be the exciting time where we go in and paint. That's what we always want to do, paint. I know everyone wants to paint, but remember, don't forget, 60% of your time you're drawing. Lots of drawing, contour drawing. Do it all the time, practice it every day if you can. It'll, it'll just translate into much better paintings and, and drawings, and you'll have a lot more fun, and you won't stress as much when you uh, do your watercolor uh, drawings and paintings. All right? All right, we'll be back part two. We're going to be right back. We're going to start the painting. Happy painting, everyone. We'll see you in just a few.